Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name is Matt, and this is uh, day three of the Reason 7 in 7 minutes of the Reason 7 video series. <laughs> awesome. I'm really loving Reason 7. So let's go over the Spectral EQ. Awesome uh, update to the mixer along with the parallel and grouping of the channels, we now have a spectral analyzer on every channel and the master bus. So let's, let's look at this and see how it works and everything it does. So on every channel, you're gonna have a button that looks like a spectral analyzer right there. You're also gonna have one right here on the main channel. You'll find it right there and also, on every track, you'll if we open up a track here, if you could see it right there, but it's right here too. And you can open up the spectral EQ just by clicking on that uh, button. So we'll click it and open it, and it opens up this uh, cool window. This spectrum EQ window is linked directly with the buttons or knobs here on each uh, channel. It, it doesn't do anything different. It just gives you a, an exact, it gives you a visual reference of what these knobs in the EQ are doing, which is, uh, can be very helpful. Plus it gives you a uh, spectral analyzer. So you'll see right here, let's, um, let's get this loop going. So you can see you have a, you have a spectral analyzer of the actual audio file. What you have here is you can turn the analyzer off or on and you'll see right here you have a follow uh, selection. What this does is if you have this on clicked, you can see we're on the, this channel and it's got the same color. This, it, this will follow every channel if follow selection is selected. So if I click here, it's going to change the color. It's going to have the exact name of the track. And what you can do from the drop down menu, you can easily go to every, any, um, any uh, uh, track you want. So we're working on uh, the verse. And it will directly, so when you have this spectral EQ window open, right from this window, you can be listening to your mix and just be going to any track you want right from the single window, which is very cool. And you can open this window, of course, from in the rack view. You can open it from the, the mixer view. You can also uh, open it here. It, now, look, if we go right here to drop down and we go to the master section, you'll see that the EQ um, on and off uh, uh, boxes here disappear because all you're going to get is a and an, is the analyzer on the master section. So we'll go back to the guitar verse. Got that set up in a loop. Okay. So if you want to turn on the low pass or the high pass, you can see it turns it on. You turn it off. It's direct representation of what's going on here. And it will help you understand how these EQs work, the each, each EQ section works, you know, and you it's just, it's just so simple. So if we turn on the bell, you can drag it up, drag it down. You can see how the, the knobs work exactly the same. If you turn on the, the E mode, that's going to give you a little more a Q factor. You can make it more narrow, more wide. And if you turn off the E, you can see how the, it's more of a, a wider. It's not as narrow of a bandwidth of a EQ section, you know, selection. And, you know, just go, I mean, it's, it's fundamentally just a visual of this with an analyzer and it allows you 
from this window to, to be EQing any channel in your session. See, I can, I can go from any part in this loop and start EQing. Select the bass. I live by what I know. Journey day by day. Let the weeds go by. Now that I am a man, I live by what I know. See, so you get my point. I can go to any channel I want and just start EQing it right from this window and it's super efficient. So that's the Spectrum EQ that's new in Reason 7 and it's it couldn't be simpler to operate and it's really well implemented and uh, I think it's gonna help people get get in tune with EQing and uh, help get their mixes better because they're gonna have a visual reference here and it asks you can actually use this window uh, to help you know train your ears to different frequencies so use the spectrum EQ window when you're mixing and I look forward to seeing you in the next video take care everybody Journey day by day.